right, so today we're going to talk about coloring our cactus. So we drew our picture. Our cactus is big, it's fat, it's close up. If this cactus was far away, it would appear smaller, thinner, and move higher on the page. But the bottom of the cactus is at the bottom of the paper. This is also a clue that this cactus is close to us. The closer an item or object is to the bottom of the page, the closer it is to the viewer. So those are two ways we can tell. One, it's large and it's filling up the page. And two, it is very close. The bottom is close to the bottom of our paper. Now we wanna talk about color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look through all my crayons and find the greens. Okay. Now we know that yellow and blue make green, so I can also be blending in yellow or blue if I want to blue, if I want to darken, um, or yellow if I want to lighten. I could use purple as well. Sometimes a nice little purple uh, makes a great shadow uh, in your picture. And so we've got these bars, these rows coming down, and that's kind of where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with one of those and I'm staying inside and not trying to make this waxy. Okay, a common mistake in crayons is pressing as hard as you can and making it as waxy as you can. But if you make it waxy, you will not be able to blend in, which is blending is mixing. You won't be able to mix in another color. So we want to be light and even. So it does not look like big scratches because I'm doing soft, gentle, little, little, filling, staying inside my line. Now I can use another color, um, um, either on the outside or on the inside. I'm gonna go along the inside here. And then I can use maybe a different color on this one. So you have all these different greens and you can use them in different ways. And you really won't know until you try. You could always practice on another piece of paper to see a technique you like. You could look at the examples in the slideshow. And if you're like me, you break your crayons because you're pressing them and they are still good. Don't throw them out. You just peel back that paper and you're good to go. I usually like the small ones. I can grip them better. So don't throw them out. Okay. And again, if I want them to blend, then there can be a little overlapping, overlapping <laughs> happening. Right? And I'm coming in and I'm blending the two. I'm making them touch. And it might get shiny after a while because you are building up a layer of wax, but it's not because you started out pressing hard. If you want to create a shadow on an edge, um, we talked about you can also put a little purple. And I like to do that um, just a real tiny little bit. It doesn't have to be super bright and it just creates a nice little shadow. Um, and so you would continue this way as you go. In your background, you can create um, a silhouette of some kind, or I'm sorry, a sunset of some kind. And you can do the same thing with your crayons that we did with the green. You can look and pick out your colors ahead of time. So maybe I would find all my oranges and yellows and do that kind of sunset. I could go from red, orange to yellow. I could do pinks and purples. So there's so many different choices. You can think about a sunset you've seen before and um, fill that in. And so again, little circles. I'm trying not to put two colors side by side that are the same. So I have used this lighter one. Now I'm going back to this kind of olive-y one, olive one. you can find the colors that you want to do okay and then you would just keep going and keep blending and try not to have any scratch or big holes of white so blending means that the colors are touching that they're overlapping we've got our uh, one color and then you can pick a darker lighter color 
I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, that's cool. See how the lighter color is filling in the holes of the darker color? And I'm mixing the two, I'm overlapping them together. So sometimes it can be overlapped completely where it's equal parts, or it could be where it goes from one color into another color. Experiment, this is your chance. The different parts of the cactus do not have to be the same, so this is a great opportunity for you to just try things out. Okay, so you're not done until all the white is gone. Good luck.